Parashas Vayechi, Shvi, Perek Nun, Pasuk Chaf Alef, Yosef speaks to his brothers and he says, Ve'ata al tirau, don't fear. Anoichi achalkel eschem ve'estabchem, I will sustain you and your small children. But this is a different language than the one used in Parashas Vayigash, Perek Mem Zayin, Pasuk Yud Zayin, when the Pasuk says that the Egyptians brought their livestock to Yosef, Vayaviu es miknehem el Yosef, Yosef gave them food, he gave them bread, and they gave him their animals. Yosef then provided them with food in return for all their livestock in that year. But literally translates into he controlled them, he conducted their affairs. When it comes to the brothers, Yosef says, I will sustain you. I will provide food for you. But when it comes to the Egyptians, the pastor says, Vayenahalem. He took control. He controlled them, says the Oznaim Latoya. Bo Ure'e. Come and see the difference between us and them. Ayid will never sell himself, his belief, his values for a piece of bread so you can sustain him, you can provide him food, but you can't control him. But Yosef provided bread to the Egyptians and with that he became their master he controlled them and he says to them go and circumcise yourselves and they did they never heard of circumcision before it wasn't in their tradition but if Yosef says we have to do it they will be willing to sell their belief system for a piece of bread but a yid would never do that you can sustain a yid but you can't control him a yid stays loyal to Hashem a yid stays loyal to the Messiah to the tradition no matter what, at all cost.